Hi there. My name is Phil Higgins and this is the Ventures Onsite Construction News Update for the Middle East region. This week we take a look back at 2022 to bring you a snapshot of all the major news that happened throughout the region. Well, last month, Rafal Real Estate Development and its JV partner Citric Constructions reached an agreement to construct an industrial and housing complex in Riyadh, costing over $3.2 billion. Saudi Arabia and Kuwait to develop Al Dura offshore gas field. Saudi Water Partnership Company invited expressions of interest for the potential development of Jabal 4 and 6 independent water project. Dubai-based Union Properties unveiled a new $435 million development in Motor City called Takeya. And Jindal Steel Group announced plans to spend over $3 billion for the construction of a green steel plant in Oman. In November, Aldar Properties acquired a 40,000 square meter plot on Majan Island in Ras Al Khaimah. Enoch Group and IHI Corporation signed an MOU to establish a low carbon hydrogen and low carbon ammonia supply chain in UAE. Bengadi teamed up with Jacob & Co to develop the world's tallest residential structure in Dubai. And the Sharjah Executive Council opened doors to allow full ownership of real estate projects with no time restrictions to all nationalities. ARA Petroleum teamed up with Heliovis to set up the world's first solar thermally powered zero emission water desalination plant in Oman. And in Saudi Arabia, the Crown Prince launched Cheer, the first Saudi electric vehicle brand to be manufactured in the kingdom. In October, SAPEM was awarded a $4.5 billion EPC contract by Qatar Gas. Saudi Arabia won the bid to host the 2029 Asia Winter Games. Saudi Downtown Company was launched to build and develop downtown areas in 12 cities throughout Saudi Arabia. And Saudi Arabia's Ministry of Municipal and Rural Affairs and Housing signed an agreement worth more than $10 billion to develop the infrastructure of 11 cities around Saudi Arabia. Oman Rail signed an agreement with UAE's Etihad Rail to jointly establish a $3 billion investment to design, develop and operate a railway network connecting Soha Port to the UAE National Rail Network. In September, Qatar announced plans to build a $1 billion blue ammonia plant and OJ Steel Holdings to invest $865 million to build an integrated billet manufacturing plant in Saudi Arabia. Aziz Developments purchased a strategic plot of land on Sheikh Zayed Road in Dubai and Adnoc awarded a $548 million contract to NPCC to build a new main gas line at its lower Zukam field offshore of Abu Dhabi. Qatar's Ashgal awarded a $1.48 billion public-private partnership contract for a 150,000 cubic meter per day sewage treatment plant. Emirates Water and Electricity invited expressions of interest for the development of two standalone greenfield reverse osmosis seawater desalination plants. Back in August, the Avenues Company announced the appointment of NAS Group as the main contractor for the construction of the Avenues Bahrain Phase 2 expansion project. Bahrain also floated a tender for a grid-tied solar photovoltaic plant project. The Saudi Water Partnership Company announced that it has issued a request for proposals for, for the 150 kilometer long Reyes Rabir Independent Water Transmission Pipeline project. Qatar Energy's Renewable Solutions awarded a $632 million EPC contract for its industrial city solar power project to Samsung CNT. And Aldar Properties announced the launch of Yas Gate, a $313 million residential development comprising 508 new homes. In July 2022, the Abu Dhabi Industrial Strategy was launched the Abu Dhabi government investing $10 billion across six transformational programs. Dermak Properties awarded a $168.2 million construction contract to pivot contracting for the Costa Brava cluster within its Dermak Lagoons master development. Jeddah Central Development Company awarded the design of its Oceanarium and Coral Farm 
landmark buildings within its mega Jetta Central project to leading US architectural firm Skidmore, Owings and Merrill. Saudi Arabia also announced a new 10 square kilometer smart city for a new mixed use development called Al Nama in Riyadh. Dubai South Properties in the UAE announced the launch of South Bay, a new master development in the heart of the residential district in Dubai South. The Kuwait Authority for Partnership Projects issued the RFQ documents for two ambitious schemes, a 1.8 gigawatt Al Quran Phase 1 and a 2.7 gigawatt Azur North Phase 2 and 3 IWPs. Shell and AMG Recycling and its partner, the United Company for Industry, announced the signing of an agreement with Saudi Aramco to construct and operate a world-class metals reclamation complex in Al Jabal Industrial City in Saudi Arabia. Emirates Water and Electricity issued an RFQ for companies interested in developing the Al Ajban Solar Photovoltaic Independent Project. And EWEC and Tad Weir in Abu Dhabi issued the request for proposals to develop a Greenfield Abu Dhabi Waste to Energy Independent Power Project. In June, Korea Western Power and Samsung CT signed a development agreement to build a hydrogen and ammonia plant in Khalifa Industrial Zone in Abu Dhabi. Oman's OQ announced the signing of an MOU with the Public Establishment for Industrial States in Medan to establish a plastics industries park on a 1 million square meter area in Suha Industrial City. China Railway 18th Bureau Group was awarded a $970 million contract to excavate five kilometers of road tunnels near a city in Medina in the Hijaz region in Saudi Arabia. An NPC secured a contract with Saudi Aramco worth $2.2 billion for two packages on the Zulof expansion project. In May 2022, Qatar Energies awarded a $600 million contract for the NFXP Sulfur project to a joint venture formed by Technicus Rwandas and Wilson Engineering. Abu Dhabi National Oil Company ADNOC planned to build a new liquefied natural gas plant in Fujairah with an output capacity of 9.6 million tonnes per year. Aluminium Bahrain signed a full turnkey contract with Mitsubishi Power and SEPCO 3 Consortium to expand the power station number 5 at Al Bar. Saudi Arabia's Roshan announced the Aranus community in North Jeddah, which will extend over 4 million square meters. In April 2022, Dubai's M Glory announced its plans to set up an electric vehicle assembly and production facility in Dubai Industrial City with an investment of $408 million. Dubai based Wassel Properties announced the launch of its latest master development Wassel Village in Al Qusayz, Dubai, comprising of 62 buildings having 6,200 housing units. Saudi Arabia's ACWA Power signed an EPC contract agreement for the largest green ammonia plant in the world with the Neom Giga project. The contract is valued at $900 million. Dubai South Properties awarded a $445 million contract to Al Karafi Construction to develop its 788 residential unit Pulse Beachfront Villa Community Project. Also, Dubai South announced the signing of an exclusive agreement with the US-based Discovery Land to develop a 272 million US dollar luxurious two square kilometer golf community. In March 2022, ADNOC signed an agreement with the global methanol producer ProMan to build the UAE's first methanol production facility in the Taziz Industrial Chemical Zone in Rawais. Abu Dhabi Ports signed an agreement with Metal Park Investment ME to establish an integrated metal hub in Kazad, covering a total land area of 450,000 square meters. The Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman launched Trojena, the new global destination for mountain tourism to be constructed within the Neom project. Electrical vehicle manufacturer Lucid Group signed a $30 million lease agreement with Imar Economic City to construct and operate its manufacturing and assembly plant in Saudi Arabia. Saudi-based developer Um Al-Qura for development and construction signed an agreement 
with Al Dare Al Arabia Company for the construction of 10 new residential towers at Masar Residential Community Development within Mecca City, valued at $798 million. In the UAE, Bihar Energy and the UK-based Chinook Sciences signed an agreement to commence the development of the region's first waste-to-hydrogen plant. Kuwait Ports Authority awarded South Korea's Hyundai Engineering and Construction a rehabilitation and development contract for the development of seven port berths in a deal worth $160 million at the Mina Al Shuwaik port. Ras Al Khaimah developer Al Hamra unveiled a $272 million residential project comprising 501 villas called Falcon Island. Saudi real estate company Dar Al Akan signed an agreement with Oman Tourism Development Company to develop a new mixed-use real estate project named Ada with a total investment of $1.6 billion in the Yeti area of Muscat. In February, South Korea's Doosan Heavy Industries and Construction Company was awarded a $834 million contract from the Saudi-based Tuwek Casting and Forging for the construction of a 600-ton per day plant in Ras Al Khair. Emirates Global Aluminium announced the company's plans to build a 150,000 ton per day aluminium recycling facility, the company's first in the UAE. In Saudi Arabia, Kidir Investment Company awarded the contract worth $750 million for the construction of the kingdom's first and region's largest water theme park in a joint venture with Alec Saudi Arabia Engineering and Contracting and El Safe Engineering Contracting. And in January 2022, ADNOC awarded a $946 million EPC contract to NPCC for the strategic long-term development of Um Saith Field. NPCC was also awarded a contract for the Zalouf Marine Field in Saudi Arabia. The value of the contract is $2.23 billion. In Oman, Omram Group entered into a development partnership with Diamond Developers for the development of the first phase of the Yeti Tourism Master Plan with an investment value of $1 billion. Abu Dhabi Properties announced an agreement with Diamond Developers to form a joint venture to establish the development of the sustainable city Yas Island valued at $490 million. Diria Development Company awarded its largest contract to date valued at $1.06 billion to Salini Saudi Arabia Company for the construction of the Diria Square's super basement car park. And Rack Hospitality Holding and the US listed Wynn Resorts announced a multi billion dollar integrated resort development on Ras Al Khaimah's Al Majan Island. Well, that's a comprehensive overview of all major news for 2022 throughout the Middle East region. We look forward to bringing you our regular news updates for construction project and construction activity in 2023. From all of us here at Ventures On Site, we do wish you a very successful year and hope you stay informed so you stay competitive. My name's Phil Higgins and this is Ventures On Site Live.